Hello, hello. Welcome to day two of Mindset Mentor with Jadis. Here we go. So yesterday I talked all about my accident at 18 years old that completely changed my life. And I wanted to dive deeper into that around the mindset that comes with that. So yesterday I talked about how I didn't know if I was just putting on a smile for people or if I truly was okay with everything. You know, I think that coming into an injury like that that is life-altering Of course you grieve, you go through a period of grief because you lost your entire life, right? You have to start over, you have to navigate and figure out how to live life a different way without being able to move your body. Having people around you to take care of you so that you can live a life, it definitely floods into your personal space. I had to really get over that. So many people have seen my naked body. So many people have had to feed me, take care of me. And to try to wrap my mind around that and push through that as it being acceptable for me to continue living my life was hard. I really had to just tell myself that it's okay. Everyone has a body. They're taking care of you. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, the people, people are here and people are here for you to help you live a life. And if it wasn't for my family, my support system, I wouldn't be where I am today without them. You know, I might have not needed medication when I was in the hospital for depression. I tried to put on a smile, tried to carry that through. I think because I saw other people light up just because I was smiling. Right? Have you ever felt that? Have you ever just smiled and seen how other people around you react to your happiness. I remember people coming up to me in public telling me that they're amazed at how happy I seem regarding my circumstances. I know some people don't like that. Some people don't like being an inspiration. I don't understand why. Being an inspiration is amazing. You're changing people's lives by being an inspiration and showing them and telling them that life can still go on. Life can be beautiful no matter what, right? You know, I had to come to terms with having a new body, having a new identity because now I'm not walking anymore. I can't position my body in different ways. I can't shake someone's hand. I had to figure out how to dress differently. Yeah, that's part of it. And trying to wrap my mind and my mindset around all of these things. And back then, when you have a life-altering traumatic experience, you want to not accept it. It feels like accepting it means that you're okay with it. After 20 years of living my life like this, I've accepted it and I'm okay with it. Why? Because it's my life. I have no other choice. I can either give up, fade away into nothing, or I can push forward, be something, help people, Be amazing. Let them see that there is a bright future out there for everyone. 
no matter what. That's what I've chosen to do. And that's what you should choose to do. I remember one day, I was out in public, I was with my mom, we were downtown, we were going into some of the shops, and this guy kept following me. And I thought, I didn't think it was creepy. I thought, because the way he was watching me. And we went into a store, and he stopped me. He got down on my level, and he said, I, excuse me, I just really want to know how you're so happy and how you're so smiling so much. And I said, life is all in how you react to it. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad. He told me that he was very depressed, not doing very well. And how could I be so happy even though I can't move my body? It's a choice, you guys. You have to change your mindset around that. You have to start seeing the positive in things. You have to ignore the negative. Get it out. It's not going to bring anything to you. Stay in that positive mindset. Every situation has something positive in it. Yeah, I might have broke my neck. I might have lost my entire life. Had to start over. But you know what the positive is? I wouldn't be where I am today without it. I've had amazing family support through it. And I'm an amazing person now because of it. Going through life, being paralyzed, has definitely been a struggle. But like I said, you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be upset. You can react in a negative way or you can react in a positive way. And I feel like I've always reacted in a positive way. I still have my brain. I can still think I am here. Look at me, my YouTube channel helping spread some mindset tips for you. My first tip, go through your grieving process. That looks different for everybody, but you have to go through that. You have to experiment with different things, with how to dress, what you feel comfortable in, your self-esteem, you know, when I was, the first time I ever went out to eat, probably like the first 100 times I went out to eat. No, I would say even still today. When I go out to eat, it was so embarrassing to be, you know, 18, 19 years old and have to have someone feeding me. That was so embarrassing crazy embarrassing right like everybody stares it's different and i really had to block everybody out so it's almost like being on a stage and blocking out the audience so that you're not afraid you're not scared that's what i did even today i still do that I'm not as embarrassed anymore to be fed. It's life. It's how I survive. It's how I eat. Everybody's got to eat. But I block the people out around me. I pretend that they're not there. I pretend they're not watching me. And then it's less embarrassing. And I know my worth now. It took a long time to know my worth and know that I'm beautiful. After 20 years, only four years ago, I was able to look in a full-length mirror and appreciate myself and the way I look. Let that sink in. Like I said, going through the mindset shift takes time, and it's an ongoing process. So, another tip for you. Do affirmations. I know, people think those are silly. They're not. 
Put them on your mirror. Put them wherever you see. Speak those into you. Don't just say them, though. Feel them. You have to feel affirmations for them to come to life. You have to manifest what you want your life to be, what you want it to look like in the future. You have to set that in stone and then actively work towards it. Just like actively working towards changing your mindset. I listen to podcasts every morning. Some of them are for business. Some of them are for self-esteem. Some of them are for mindset. If you like listening to podcasts, start. If you like reading books, find those kinds of books out there and start reading them. The Law of Attraction. <sighs> Some controversy about it, but I believe that it works. I believe that it works. You know, anytime I ever have the law of attraction and I manifest money is coming to me, somehow I'll receive like a thousand dollars here or money from I don't even know where that just comes to me. It's crazy. It's amazing. The law of attraction truly works. Do you realize that when you pray to God, you are asking for those things from the universe? The law of attraction. It's right there. So I want, I want you to sit down, write out some affirmations. You can find plenty of them online, on Pinterest. Find ones that speak to you. Write them down. Switch them out here and there. Read the books. Listen to podcasts. See if those things help. As well as stop reacting in a negative way. Your car breaks down. You get a flat tire. You react to it in a way of, oh, why does this always happen to me? Bad things always happen to me. I can't ever get ahead. Well, you're speaking that into the universe of the law of attraction. And if you keep doing that, then those bad things are going to keep coming to you. Change your reaction. Oh, my car broke down? That's okay. I have the money to get it fixed. Another bump in the road that we get over and we move on. And you know what? Maybe your car breaking down avoided you and saved your life from being in a car accident. There's those things you have to think about. You know? It's crazy how the world works. It's crazy what things come to you. What things are taken away from you. But you have the choice in how you react to it. So, I'm going to leave you with that for day two. Let's get your mind set shifted to want better, to need better, to have better in how you react to life. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.